People across the capital region have stepped up to sew masks, but one woman is creating masks while also raising awareness about domestic violence. Emily DeVito continues our team coronavirus coverage. Ashley Hart's sister was murdered in a domestic violence incident eight years ago, and she's creating these masks to get the conversation about domestic violence rolling as organizations like Unity House say they expect the number of domestic violence calls to increase during this coronavirus pandemic. I don't want these victims to feel like they're alone, especially in this time. Ashley Hart is creating these purple masks for people in the community still out working. The purple is meant to create awareness about domestic violence, as experts say during this time, the stress and isolation will lead to higher rates of domestic violence. If they see someone, they go to the doctor's office and they see the purple, you know, they feel that they can openly speak about what is going on in their own life. Hart's sister Nikki was murdered in her Skodak home in 2012 by her ex-boyfriend. Ashley was at the home with her children when it happened. Hart said the first few masks she made, she made from clothing that belonged to Nikki she had kept. You could have said a year ago that you'd be cutting up, and I would say, no way, don't ever touch it. Um, but it just felt like it was the right thing to do. So far, she's delivered masks to a dialysis center and a company with essential workers. I have two deliveries going out to two different doctor's offices, so it's more your small private practices right now who are lacking in the coverage. Hart is also reminding people during this time, if you see something, say something. She says many times domestic violence victims, like her sister, don't have the strength to get the help they need. Guess what? We're all stuck in this together. We're all home. You may hear it being next door. If that person can't call, you need to call for them. For anyone looking for domestic violence services like the ones offered here at Unity House or hotline numbers, we've set up links on our website, WNYT.com. Reporting in Troy, Emily DeVito, News Channel 13.